Team Rivalry Reaction. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Team Rivalry. My name is Cliff Richardson, and we are going over the 2023 football schedule for the West Division at the Big Ten. Mac is going to go over the East Division in another video. Tonight, we're talking about the Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue Boilermakers. Don't know why I said it that way, but there it is. Uh, Purdue. <clears throat> Purdue is... Uh, Purdue is a fun team, and I just probably should have flipped over to my notes before I got here. Purdue has a new coach this year because Jeff Brom, for whatever reason, decided to skedaddle himself down to, uh, oh, what was it, uh, Louisville? Louisville, Kentucky, to uh, coach down there. Not sure why. doesn't matter. He's gone. Uh, he didn't uh, didn't do a whole lot for Purdue. Uh, they... Uh, no, I shouldn't say that. He, he, he did something for Purdue. He, he, he made Purdue into a solid team. He was a decent coach. He got him to the uh, Big Ten Championship, um, unfortunately lost. But he did manage uh, in that whole uh, scuffle last season for the, uh, the West Division. He did manage to put his team on top and won the right games. But then he left, so now he means nothing. The new coach, Ryan Walters, is is brand new, uh, fresh coach. This is his first head coaching position. He's um, he's only 14 years out of college. Only? He's 14 years out of college. He's uh, He played for, oh, I had it written down, Colorado. He was a safety at Colorado. Um, he's been a positions coach, a, a defensive coach, and he just came from Illinois. So he's been working with Brett Belima at Illinois, and Brett Belima has been having... Um, He's he's been he's been bringing Illinois up, uh, and I think he's going to make Illinois a dominant team. Uh, so he's got some, and obviously uh, Brett Belima was the coach of Wisconsin for a while. He's a fantastic coach. He builds strong teams, and uh, which is why I think Illinois is going to be a big team here in the uh, in the West Division real soon, if not this season. But uh, uh, Ryan Walters uh, comes in. Comes into Purdue, the Boilermakers, the Spoilermakers we call them sometimes because they have that record of knocking out top five teams, uh, which is fantastic. Pundits are wondering why they went with Ryan Walters. Uh, like I said, he's an untried coach. He doesn't have head coaching experience, and Purdue is a team that was actually moving ahead. They needed an experienced coach, and they're not getting one in Ryan Walters. Doesn't mean he won't do well. Doesn't mean he isn't going to come out of the gate as a phenom and uh, totally tear up the West Division. Uh, but it does make you wonder um, if they, they saw a spark in him or if they're just trying to start out fresh and and see what they can do. And and who knows? He he knows the game. Like I said, he's worked under Brett Belima. Brett. Yeah, Brett Belima. <laughs> it was it was the first name that threw me. I didn't I wasn't sure if it was Brett or not. Um so he's got the credentials, and and the question is essentially for him, really, is is the uh, is the pressure going to break him? Because you know, becoming a head coach, really, at any school is going to be a big deal. Being a head coach at uh, a Big Ten team is a bigger deal. The non-conference season uh, is fairly interesting for Purdue. They're going to go up against Fresno State as the first game. Now, normally I think that, you know, those non-conference games are just sort of practice games for Big Ten teams. That's becoming less and less the case, although I guess Michigan is being chastised for their non-conference uh, games this year. They usually are because they usually just don't schedule, you know, ranked top 20 teams. They usually schedule the 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 teams that you don't hear of until they play a Big Ten game. But Fresno State went 10-4 and four last year. They won their championship game. I forgot which division they were in. Uh, let me check here. Fresno State should be in. I think I have it over here. Bear with me. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get there. We're going to find out they're in the Mountain West Conference. So they won the championship of the Mountain West Conference. It's probably nothing to sneeze at. Anytime you win a championship game, you're it's nothing to sneeze at. They went 10-4, and four, and Jeff Tedford is going to be in his fifth year. So they've got a seasoned coach. They've got a seasoned championship-winning team. And that's Ryan Walter's first game. Our thoughts and prayers go out to him. The next game is Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech was 3-8 and eight last year. I'm going to call that a win for Purdue. Syracuse was seven and six last year, but they were ranked. They got ranked as high as 14. Um, they dropped out of the rankings. They lost their bowl game uh, to Minnesota at the Pinstripe Bowl. 
So yeah, Syracuse could Syracuse is still going to be a tough game for Purdue, um, but definitely a winnable one. Okay, so let's get into their Big Ten play. They're going to start out against Wisconsin. Wisconsin has a new coach, Luke Fickle. But Luke Fickle isn't exactly new. Luke Fickle uh, coached against, or I'm sorry, coached uh, Cincinnati. And uh, he had a 57-18 record over there, um, did, did remarkably well. That's going to be a tough game. Illinois, Brett Belima, who almost beat Purdue last year to go to the, or, uh, they almost beat out Purdue last year to go to the Big Ten Championship. Iowa, always tough, always solid, but middle of the road. And then they've got Ohio State. Ah, then they've got Nebraska. Nebraska has a new coach, so there's a potential there. Then they've got Michigan. Gah. Then they've got Minnesota, Northwestern, and Indiana. You've got a lot of solid, tough games here. And I mean tough games here. Fresno State is going to be tough. Syracuse, maybe. Wisconsin is going to be tough. Illinois is going to be tough. Iowa is going to be tough. Ohio State is going to be tough, near impossible. Michigan, Michigan tough, near impossible. Um, Minnesota and Northwestern, Minnesota is going to be tough. Northwestern, probably not. I think you get a couple of wins out of this, maybe five wins, give or take. I think he ends up five and seven for the season. But he, I mean, Ryan Walters and Purdue. It's going to be tough. Ryan Walters has got a hard road ahead of him. Um, but I think he can he can get himself, he can get himself, I think he can get a few wins uh, for the team and for the players and uh, build from there. He's He's got solid talent on the team and he's got, solid education as far as or solid education training as a coach he's just never been a head coach before so i'm interested interested to see what he does i hope he does well i've got a soft spot in my heart for purdue just being the spoiler makers you, you never really know if they're going to ruin your season or if it's going to be a win for another team um and it's, it's fun to watch they make the game fun they make the game interesting and we'll see what happens that's my prediction for purdue if you have anything to say different you don't like it, you do like it, you want to inform me about Purdue, about something I don't know, which ought to be easy to do, let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, this is Team Rivalry. Hey.